Hey, it's Ryan, and when I was first learning to play modern worship music on the piano, I thought that in order to sound good, I had to play a lot of notes. So when I was first playing on my church worship team, I was playing these big chords with a lot of notes. I was playing a lot of notes all the time. And I thought that's what you had to do in order to sound good. But in the years that have gone by since then, I have learned that that actually is not always the case. Yes, sometimes it's good to play a lot of notes, but frequently the best choice is just to play a few notes. And in fact, you can sound really good by just playing three notes at a time, and that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to be teaching you the song, Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me, and I'm going to be teaching it to you using the three-note worship piano system. It's a great system. It sounds really great, but it's also very easy, and it's a great way to start learning how to play modern worship music on the piano. So if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's do it. Here we go. Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me. It's a great modern hymn. It's recorded by City of Light. It was also featured on uh, one of the Keith and Kristen Getty Sing Conference recordings. And so today we're going to be doing it with the three-note worship piano system. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that at first, and then we'll dive into the song. So the three-note worship piano system, the left hand is only playing one note at a time, and that note is going to be the root note or the bass note of the chord. So when you see a chord on the uh, music, what you're going to be doing is playing the root note of that chord or the bass note with the left hand. I'll show you what I mean by that and kind of the differences between those two things. So here are some examples. So for instance, if you have the chord C, whenever you see just a letter, that means the major chord. So the C major chord, the left hand will be playing just a C, just like that. Now, another example is A minor. When you see a lowercase m next to a letter, that means the minor chord. So if you see A minor, you will be playing, the left hand note will be A, just like that. That's the root of the chord. The root of the chord is the note that the chord is named after. So a C major chord is named after C, that's the root. An A minor chord is named after A, that's the root. Now, sometimes you'll see a chord like this, G slash B, where there is a B underneath a slash. What that means is it's going to be a G major chord, but with B as the bass note. So your left hand, in that case, will play B. Normally, it would play G if it just said G, but if it's G slash B, that means to play a B with the left hand. So that is what the left hand is going to be playing all the way through this whole video, is the uh, root note of the chord, or if there's a slash chord, the bass note that's underneath that slash, or to the right of that slash, sometimes you'll see it. The right hand is going to be playing the major scale steps one and five of whatever key you're in, whatever song you're playing, the right hand will be playing scale steps one and five of that major scale. And so for instance, this song, Yet Not I, is going to be in the key of C. We're going to learn it in the key of C. And so the key of C has what we call the C major scale, which is the set of notes that make up the, the key of C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C on top. That's the C major scale. So we are going to, going to be playing steps one and five. So step one is just C, and then two, three, four, five, which is a G. So steps one and five in the key of C are C and G. And that those are the only notes that I'm going to be playing with my right hand, just C and G. Let's take a look at the rhythm a little bit. The time signature for this song is 4-4. Four, four. And the big thing you want to learn from that information is that there are four beats in every measure. It's broken out into four beat groups all the way through it. And so the right hand is going to be playing once every beat. And so if you kind of feel the rhythm to yet not I, it's going to feel like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. That's what I mean by it, it's grouped into four beats. And we call that we call those groups measures. There are four beats per measure. And so my right hand is just going to be playing once every beat like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that, all the way through the song. 
So let's get into the intro here. Here is the intro, which is the you know the uh, instrumental part that kind of introduces the song before any singing happens. And it starts with a C major chord. So my right hand is going to be playing C and G, and my left hand is going to be playing that C note. Then the next chord is F6 slash A, which looks very complicated, but like I said, this three note system makes everything very simple. So my right hand just stays on C and G. My left hand now goes to A, right? Because it's a slash chord. So A is the note below the slash or to the right of the slash. So that is what I'm going to be playing with my left hand. Next chord is C slash G. So I just move my left hand to G. Right hand stays the same. And once again, F6 slash A, my left hand just moves back up to A. And that's it, you don't need to know any of the other notes in these chords. I mean, it's good to learn that, and eventually you should learn what the notes are to all of these chords. But for right now, this is a great way to get into playing if you're brand new, or if you just like a new tool in your toolbox, this actually sounds really great. Even if you know how to play all these chords, playing it in this manner just sounds really great. So I'm going to play this, I'm going to give four counts, to each chord, and I'll just play it through just like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Next chord. One, two, three, four. C slash G. One, two, three, four. And then F6 again over A. Two, three, four. So that is the intro to Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me. Please let me know if this is making sense or if you have any questions so far. Uh, put it in the comments below the video, and I'll try to interact with you on that and uh, a answer any questions you have. Let's now look at verse 1. Verse 1, pretty straightforward. We have a C chord, we have an F chord, we have an A minor chord, we have a G chord. Uh, we have some what we call sus chords down at the bottom, but once again, you don't really need to know what those are right now. All you need to know is what the bass note is and keep your right hand on that C and G. Let me play through this verse. You'll see what I mean. Starting on the C. What gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer? There's the F. There is no more C for heaven now to give. He is my joy, back to C, my righteousness and freedom. My steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. So once again, my right hand is just playing once every beat. One, two, three, four. Just very, very consistently. Just It never speeds up or slows down. It just plays that all the way through. And then my left hand is just playing the root or the bass note of the chord I'm on. And the chords you can see are written above the word that you sing. So if you've never seen a, a worship chart before, this is what they look like. They have lyrics, and then they have the chords written above the lyrics. And the chord, whatever word the chord is written above, that's the, when you play the chord as you sing through the song. Let's take a look at the second half of the verse. Here we go. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus. For my life is wholly bound to His. Okay, let's pause real quick. So you see the C slash E chord up on the second line over the word four. That's kind of a fast chord. It just kind of happens just one count. And uh, so you'll want to watch out for that as you play through this. In fact, let me play through this these, these first couple lines here, and I'll kind of show you what the counting, how the counting works. To this I hold, two, three, four, and then C for three counts, one, two, three, and then the E for just one count, E up to F, one, two, one, two, and a one, two, three, four. So watch out for that C over E, it just happens for one count. I'll play that one more time. To this I hold, my hope is only G. For my life is wholly bound to His. Let's go to the last couple lines here. It just kind of walks up the scale now. I'm going to go to C. Oh, how strange and divine I can sing. All is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me. So that walk up on Oh, how strange and divine. Each of those chords just gets two counts. Oh, how one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. 
So that's kind of the thing about worship charts with just the lyrics and the chords is you have to kind of know how the song goes even before you you play through it. You kind of have to listen to it. So I'd I recommend listening to this song a few times, really getting to know how, how it flows and kind of what the melody is, sing it a few times, and then try to dive in and try to read the chords. And you can even try to read the chords along with listening to it as well. That's a great way to learn. And like I said, this is a very simple and easy way to get into playing this kind of music. And it, it also sounds really great. But you, eventually you will want to learn you know, kind of how to make these chords just so that you you can kind of keep growing and getting better as a musician and as a worship keyboard player, kind of knowing what notes are in an F chord, what notes are in a C chord or a D minor 7 chord. These are all chords that are in this song, and we're not really going into how to play those, but I do have a free resource that teaches how to play all those chords, and it is called the Quick Start Chord Guide, and it is a free PDF download that goes step by step through how to play the most common types of chords you'll find in worship music. And you can find that totally for free at mccarthymusicschool.com slash guide. So if you'd like to get better at playing chords, if you're kind of at the beginning of your journey and you, you maybe know something about playing chords, but you feel like there are some gaps in your knowledge or you don't know everything you'd like to know, Go check out this guide. It probably has the answers to at least some of your questions and it will really help you get going with c correct knowledge about how to play the different chords that you'll find in worship music. So once again, mccarthymusicschool.com slash guide. Go check it out. So after that first verse, here's the interlude again, just like the intro. I'll play through that. C, two, three, four, back down to the A. Slash G, so G is in my left hand. Three, four, back up to A. All right, and now we're gonna go into verse two. The night is dark, but I am not forsaken. For by my side, the Savior He will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing. power is displayed. Now I'm going to show you a couple things here to kind of help you let, let the arrangement kind of grow and kind of take it to the next level. And it's still based on this three note pattern that we have going on here. But there's a couple things you can do to kind of make it a little bit richer, a little bit bigger sounding, especially if you want to build and, and make part of the song, you know, kind of rise and, and get louder. One of the things you can do is play, instead of just play one bass note at a time, you can play two bass notes at a time. You can play two octaves worth of bass notes. And that just means instead of playing just one C, you play the C that's also down eight notes from it on the piano. Or if you play an A, instead of just one note, you'll play two A's, two octaves worth of A's. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do with the right hand is instead of just playing just the C and the G like this, you can take either of these notes and, and add it above or below. Let me show you what I mean. You can take the G up here and you can also add it down here. So now you're playing three notes in the right hand, but it's still just a C and a G. You have two G's and one C. So let's try that. I'm gonna play that with my right hand and I'll play two octaves worth of bass notes in my left hand. Let's take the next section here, to this I hold. To this I hold. My shepherd will defend me Through the deepest valley he will lead Oh, the night has been won And I shall overcome Yet not I, but through Christ in me The other thing you can do with the right hand is instead of taking the fifth note of the scale and bringing it down an octave, you can take the first note of the scale and bring it up the octave. So that looks like this, C, G, and then an additional C up on top. Let's see kind of what that sounds like. To this I hold, my shepherd will defend me, through the deepest valley he will
was also kind of arpeggiating it out. That just is a fancy word for saying playing one note at a time. Instead of all of them all together, uh, you can kind of play one note at a time like this. Oh, the night has been warm and I shall overcome. So you don't always have to play all three of them at exactly the same time, but you can kind of split them up and experiment a little bit with the rhythm there to just kind of add some uh, increased energy and in- increased excitement as you play through the song. So that is it for this song. The other two verses are just like the first two verses. So you just kind of rinse and repeat through the rest of this song. But like I said, you don't have to play very complicated to sound great. You can just play three notes at a time, the bass note in the left hand and the scale steps one and five in the right hand. And that will get you through most worship songs. It usually sounds just fantastic as you play through that. And then to really go to the next level, you would definitely want to learn how to play the notes in these different chords, an F chord or a D minor seven chord. And in order to do that, all you need is my free guide, the Quick Start Chord Guide. You can find that at mccarthymusicschool.com slash guide. It's a free PDF download, and that will teach you how to play the actual chords themselves, not just this method, but be able to actually play the full chord, which is another way that you can kind of take the song to the next level as you play through it. So otherwise, please let me know if you have any questions about what I just taught you, if there's anything that was confusing that I could maybe explain better in a future video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.